Are you ready? No, no, no. Tell me one. Tell me one. I want you guys to be ready. I need you guys to get all this information. Hmm. Okay. Now we're going to go over our in cab inspection. So right after we, we perform our emergency spring brakes test, we're going to tell the examiner, okay, now we're going to perform a safe start, make sure our brakes are engaged, my vehicle is in neutral, I will turn on the engine so I can build up my tanks to full pressure. Because And while they're building up to full pressure, I'm going to be performing my in cab inspection. I will start my in cab inspection by checking my three reflective triangles. I will check my three reflective triangles, want to make sure that all three are there, none are cracked, broken, or missing, and that they're properly secure, secured. Then I will check my fire extinguisher. I'll check my fire extinguisher. I want to make sure my fire extinguisher, that my needle is in the green position, my tag is up to date, the safety pin is in place, and it's properly secured. The next thing I will check for is my back windshield. I'll check my back windshield. I want to make sure that it's not cracked. It's free of any chips. And it's <laughs> properly secured. Bless you. And it's properly secured. Then I will check my dome light. I'll check my dome light. I want to make sure it turns on and off. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure it's not cracked. There's no cracked, loose, or missing lenses. And it's properly secured. The next thing I will check for is my headliner. I'll check my headliner. I want to make sure it's not cut. It's not torn. It's not sagging down. And it's properly secured. From here, I will check my cubby holes. I'll check my, I'll check my cubbies. I want to make sure that, that there's nothing that could fly out uh, when I'm driving and that it, and everything is properly secured. From here, I'll check my, 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 my other dome lights. I want to make sure they're not cracked. I don't have any cracked loose or missing lenses and they're properly secured. I'll check my reading lights. I want to make sure that they function properly. They're not cracked. There's no cracked loose or missing lenses and they're properly secured. They're reading. The next thing I will check for is my sun visor. I'll check my sun visor. I want to make sure that it lower, lowers and rises properly and stays up in the in the race position and it's properly secured. From here, I will check my windshield. I'll check my windshield. I want to make sure my windshield isn't cracked. It's free of any chips. I also want to make sure that it's clean and it's free of any illegal stickers. The next thing I would check for is my weather seal around my windshield. I want to make sure it's not cut, it's not dry rotted and it's properly secured. The next thing I would check for is my dashboard. I'll check my dashboard. I want to make sure it's not cracked and it's clean and free of any debris. From here, we're going to go into my mirrors. I'll check my mirrors, both my mirrors. I want to make sure that they're not cracked, they're not missing, that they're clean, and that they're properly adjusted to me. The next thing I would check for is my window. I want to make sure my window rises and lowers properly. From here, I will check my light switches and want to make sure to turn on and off and of course we will check them when we do a light test or if we already did a light test we already know that they function properly the next thing I would check for is my light dimmer switch I want to make sure that that functions properly from here I'm gonna move on to my gauges I'll check my oil pressure gauge my oil pressure gauge should be between 35 and 75 psi I'll check my water temperature gauge. I'll check my water temperature gauge. I want to make sure my water temperature gauge is reading at 160 to 210, never above 220. From here, I would check my 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 tachometer. I'll check my tachometer and I'll and I'll rev my throttle and want to make sure that it functions properly. The next thing I would check for is my volt meter, my battery volt meter. I'll check my battery volt meter meter. Where's the selector at? Well, I'll check my voltmeter and it should be between 13.9 and 14.1 volts. The next thing I would check for is my speedometer. And of course, we'll check our speedometer when we're on the road and we're driving. The next thing I would check for is my, is my, is my fuel gauge. I want to make sure that my fuel gauge is always filled to proper operating level. I'll check my depth gauge. I want to make sure also my depth gauge is filled to proper operating level. Then I'll check both my primary air gauge and my secondary air gauge. I want to make sure they function properly, and we know they do because we were just performing part of the air brakes inspection. From here, I got my filter minder. I want to make sure that I check it to make sure when it's time to change my air filter. From here, from here, I'm going to check my speed control switch and my speed control select switch and want to make sure that they function properly 
I'll check the air brake, I'll check the air brake knob and want to make sure that it's not cracked or broken and we'll check it when we do our brakes integrity test. I'll check my shutdown override button, my engine air button, my suspension lower and rise switch and my differential lock and my mirror heater switch and want to make sure that they all function properly. From here I'll check my my uh, engine brake switch and my engine brake select switch want to make sure that that functions properly and here I got my regen button and I will use it whenever I have to regen the engine from here I got my PTO lights want to make sure that they're functioning properly and my PTO switches my and my lights I want to make sure that they all function properly the next thing I have is my parking parking brake valves I want to make sure none are cracked also want to make sure that they're the proper color and are the proper shape. We got a uh, diamond shape for, for, for our parking brake, for our truck parking brake, and we got uh, the octagon for, for our trailer air supply. I want to make sure they're not cracked, they're not leaking in the air, and they're properly secured. From here, I will check my radio. I'll check my radio. I want to make sure that my radio, uh, all my stations are preset so I can avoid any distractions when I'm driving. From here, I'll check my defroster. I'll put it in the heater position and in the defrost position. And I'll make sure that my heater functions properly and also that my defrosters function properly. And you actually have to put your hand, check them, okay? That they function properly. From here, we're gonna go to our floorboards. We'll check our floorboards. and wanna make sure that our floor floorboards are free of any debris or any obstruction or anything that could go into my pedals when I'm driving. The next thing I would check for is my shifter boot. I'll check my shifter boot. I want to make sure that it's not cut, it's not torn, and it's properly secured. I'll check my shifter shaft. I want to make sure it's not cracked or bent and that it's properly secured. I'll check my airline. I want to make sure it's not cut, it's not leaking any air, and it's properly secured. Then I got my splitter. I want to make sure that my splitter functions properly. And then I'll check my shifter knob and want to make sure it's not cracked, broken, or missing, and it's properly secured. From here, I'm going to go into my pedals. I'll check my throttle pedal and I'll check for any stickiness. I'll check my brake pedal for any sponginess. And I'll check my clutch pedal for any excessive play. The next thing I will check for is my steering column. I'll check my steering column. I want to make sure it's not cracked, there's no loose or missing bolts, and it's properly secured. From here, I will check my windshield wipers with fluid and want to make sure that they function properly. Then, I'll check my right turn signal, my left turn signal, and I'll also check my four-way flashers to make sure that they function properly. From here, I will check my steering wheel. I'll check my steering wheel, and for a 20-inch steering wheel, I should have no more than two inches of play. In other words, I shouldn't have no more than 10 degrees of play. The next thing I would check for is my city horn and my air horn. And make sure that it functions properly. From here on, I will check my seatbelt. I'll check my seatbelt. I want to make sure it's not cut or torn or frayed. I want to make sure that it latches and unlatches properly. And now I will be putting, I will put on my, my seatbelt because the next test I will perform is my integrity brakes test. So for my integrity brakes test, okay, Okay, you can put pause right there. Okay, let me build up to full pressure and I will perform the integrity brakes test for you, okay? I know I already went over it before.